So welcome back to another episode of Sip the Teller Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about uh, Giro and the first down calls. So I'm going to throw some numbers out there before we get into the film. Um, first half, first down plays. We had 12 total first down plays. 12. Nine of them were straight runs. One pass, two play actions. So, if you're scouting the Ravens, first down, stack the box, maybe even run blitz. 75% of those plays in the first half were run plays. 75%. One pass, two play actions. Predictable or no? Let's see. Cue the intro. So before we get started, I want to hit you with our first comment of the day, and it comes from Random Shamo, and it says, as sad as it makes me to see the Ravens get beat, this is really good football, just like the Patriots game. It would have been enjoyable to watch if I was not a Ravens fan. Thank you for the breakdowns, coach. And he has a great point on that because if you just take your fanhood out of it, it was really good football on both sides of uh, the ball for the Ravens and for the uh, other team in this game and the Patriots game. But Patriots realized that, you know, Cam is not who he used to be, so they pound the ball. Um, the Titans kind of used Derrick Henry with run, 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 play action, run, 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 play action, and they got two good receivers that can, can beat man coverage because they know they're going to get man coverage. And us, we just trying to figure it out. We're trying to figure it out. A lot of injuries, uh, a lot of shaky play, but we're trying to figure it out. And we're still in the hunt while we're figuring it out. So if we get it figured out, you know, in the next two, three weeks, even after the Steelers game with all this COVID going on, I think we're in good shape. We're in good, we just got to get in the tournament. Got to, if we get in the tournament, anything can happen. All right. To open the game up, first play, let's dive right into it and see what we get. Let me adjust my so I can see. There we go. Again, if it's your first time here, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, also, hit the subscribe button. When you hit the subscribe button, make sure you click the bell so you can be part of the Noti game. When I drop these random videos, because this is probably going to be dropped randomly throughout the day on no schedule. And plus, when you get notified, you know when I do the live streams too, which I've been doing a bunch more lately because of what YouTube has been doing to us small YouTubers. So I appreciate everybody that's been supporting. Don't forget, we got the Patreon. We also got uh, some Tip to Tally merch that's still there on Teespring, and I'll link that in the uh, description. But let's get right into the video. First offensive play, dive option. Really just running good straight downhill. Not much to it. Not much to break down. Really trying to, you know, hit right here. Maybe kick out here. No, I'm going to say we're going to double and double. Try to double up to there. But we got this dude, both of these dudes squeezing the A-gaps. So they know what's, what's pretty much coming. They squeezing the A-gaps. So it's really a power play. That's what it is. It's a really a power play. And they fit they fit it pretty good. I thought it was dive option, but it's power. Use Makari as a kick out guy. I mean a rap guy. Really power. Alright, next play. The next first down. It's the play action. They covered it pretty well. Nice spectacular off the run, which, you know, not bad. You ran it first. You got a tendency to run first. You try to come with a little play action. Just don't work. Take, uh, Andrews gets covered. Somebody's about to cover Duvernay going to the flats, and I don't know who covered Boykin, but we don't have nothing. Lamar runs it. Understandable. All right, next first down. Same type of look. Oh, no, same play. My bad. Trippy. Now here's the next first down. To the handoff to Mark Ingram, which, you know, unfortunately we won't see any of that this week. Him being out to COVID. So we got Skura in. And the theme in here, on a lot of these first downs, you're going to see Skura in um, being an extra lineman. So I think that was, that was our... 
way of adding another tight end by adding Skrull as an extra lineman. Get the down block. You got two good double teams. Double team by Skrull and Fluka. Good double team by Macari and Ben Powers. And a down block by um, Ricard. But the thing is, if he if, if Ingram hits it here, that guy going to feel. If Ingram bounce out there, that guy going to feel. They all coming down here because they look and run on first down. They all coming down here. So he really has no no options to go. Ooh, shoot. Bozeman can't wipe somebody out. Watch, watch Bozeman right here. Boom. There you go. There you go. But even with Bozeman pulling, I mean, Bozeman pull up in there, a kick out, it's, they, they all, look at them, all coming down here. All of them. Next play. This is play. This is the fourth first down. Get that bounce motion. Run outside zone with Ingram. Gets a few yards. But it's still run. 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 Now, Ben Powers get, don't get the leverage he need. Uh, it's probably Simmons. Maybe that's Simmons. If Powers can get over here and hook this guy the same way uh, Tennessee's guard was doing to us if you watched the, the video Monday night he got a lane to run just couldn't get it done maybe not strong enough technique I'm not really sure I ain't I'm not on Ben Powers right now alright the fifth play Andrews in motion and pistol with Gus dive option have option. Does Lamar even read this guy? Or does he just pull it? Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the read guy. This is the read guy. He's squeezing. He's squeezing. Shoulder square. As far as I'm concerned, he should have gave this ball. But this guy's not chasing his shoulders or square to the line. That's to me, I feel like he should have gave this ball. So if he give it to Gus, let's see. If McCarry come off there, we might have a play. Let's see. Forget Lamar. Let's let's focus up in here on the line. Yeah, he get that ball. Gus got a chance to run through that arm tackle. So he just pulled that. That's a bad read by Lamar. I mean, and he knows he can outrun this dude, so that's why why he did it, but still. Cause now his shoulders are turned down, but by now Lamar has the ball. And he know he can outrun that dude, so that's what he's doing. And I understand, you know, Lamar faster than most of these dudes, and so his logic kind of go out the window because his feet so so gifted. But real, you know, football play. If you if you're not a four three quarterback, you got to hand this ball off, and maybe Gus run through that arm tackle. Gus probably do run through that arm tackle. Next play. Six sixth play. Six first down we got. And this was, I felt like this was probably one of the better calls of the game. Even though we didn't execute it right. I felt like this was one of the better calls of the game. And I put this down as play action. Because it's like a run. Now, right now when Lamar raises up, if he throws a dart right up in this area, I think we good. But he lobs it kind of over here, and that gives Bayard a chance to get back on it. If he throws a dart right to, and it kind of leads Henry up, not necessarily a dart, but leads Henry up the field instead of over here, and not Henry, um, Andrews, we should be good. But still, it's hard to do that. You're running straight this way, and, want, and I want you to throw it there. It's tough to do. So really, if you're running this way, the ball's probably going to float that way anyway, which is what happens. And, you know, Great play call. Just he had the chance to get back on it. Great. That's probably this is probably my favorite play call of the game, even though it didn't work. All right, next one. Seventh play. Obviously the angle change, so this is our one pass. This is our one pass. All right, let's see the concept. Let's see what the pass concept is.
Tennessee's in the like cover one. Yeah, one robber. Uh, right now, the pocket's good. So if he's coming here, we should be able to hit that. If he's coming flat, or if he's going there, we should be able to hit it. But I'd rather him throwing flat because of where the safety is. Um, he's covered, he's covered, he's covered. Uh, this could be a gutsy throw because the safety's open up that way. But I, my best, my best bet is come here right now. But he's looking at Andrews, who's covered. So I don't, I don't know the number of the progression number. If that makes sense, if Andrews is one or what? Because he's about to go to Andrews, but he's covered. So if he hits, I think this is Sneed. So let's say Andrews is one Sneed's two. There's a lot of traffic in there. So come off Andrews now. Come to Sneed, and you see all this space you got over here. All this space to work with. Sneed coming flat. Sneed coming over. He got a lot of space to work with with a dude that's flat footed in the middle of the field right now. So number one's taken away. Now he gets in a little pressure. He gets out of it. But now he don't have nowhere to go because he covered now. He covered. He covered. He covered. He covered. And he's kind of spying. And now Sneed breaks it down on the comeback. So the opportunity right there is still opportunity because of Sneed working the scramble drill. Just got to be a good throw. And it's, it's incomplete. Incomplete. All right. The eighth first down. Obviously, the, uh, the, the angle changes so you know it's a run. And this was a complete cluster. You know what? I don't know what was going on right here. A complete cluster. Everybody else is run blocking and Lamar is like play action. Just watch everybody else. Don't watch Lamar. Run block. All these guys up here. All these guys run blocking. Whoever this is right here, we to run block. That's uh, one of the receivers. This guy that came in, I think this Hollywood over here run blocking. Uh, Sneed is kind of in no man's land. And so everybody else run block. So I don't know what the mix up was, but it was a cluster. Straight cluster, you know what. Let's see if we can try to determine what it is based off what the line do. Line running inside zone. Left. Inside zone left. Which this dude right here probably should be the read guy. So maybe Lamar snapped it too early. Maybe Gus supposed to come down and do that. Maybe. I'm not sure. But if he comes down and, and does that, we actually got to play. Because now he, if he crashes, Lamar keeps it. If he keeps heading up the field, give it to Gus and he can kind of work his way through that. And, you know, he probably be one-on-one, -on -one, right? Probably one-on-one -on -one with this guy. Because Hollywood's coming in to block this dude. Uh, per car is going down to block this dude. So, might have a play if we execute it. But, again, cluster. Play nine. A lot of people on that line of scrimmage right there. ISO. ISO. Man, this kid going to be special. The obvious is going to be special. So, you're running. I think this is ISO. So, if, if I'm right, you should get a... a a down block there, down a double to there. He's gonna try to block him out. Well, a double right there to whoever shows up here, and then he should block him out. The car should step here, become ISO on this this 55, and then Dobbins coming right behind. Him. That's what I think is gonna happen. That block got the double right there, but the double came from here. I thought it was gonna come from here. Got the double came from here, so fit that right there. Then you gotta win this block inside. Gotta win this block inside. He does not win it inside. Makari bounces it to the next one. So good job, Makari seeing it and bouncing. Good job, Makari seeing it and bouncing. So Dobbins got to follow Makari. I mean, not Makari. I keep saying Makari. Record. 
Dobbs got to follow Ricard. My bad. And he just dives at knees. He just don't want to take the block on, dives at the knee. Now, when he comes off on the double team right there, we pretty much got a hat on a hat in this box. In this box, we got a hat on a hat. So watch the great cut by Dobbins. Boop, find a hole. The kid going to be special, man, I'm telling you. Even though we won't get to see this this week because of COVID also with him. The kid going to be special. Uh, tent first down. Tent first down. So you've got your play action. you got your pass. And I, so I just leave you one more play action and two more runs, maybe. Another run to Dobbins. Look at that cut. Look at that cut. This, the 58 got him dead to rights. Got him dead to rights. Stick that foot in the ground. Boom, make something out of it. Dead to rights. And get four, five yards out of that. Five yards out of that. Blocking ain't the greatest. Whoever 58 with Landry, whoever was blocking Landry got abused. Oh, that's the new tight end. He's not a blocking guy. <laughs> the new tight end got whooped on that one. But Dobbins made some happy. Got five yards out of it. All right, 11 first, 11 first down. Let's see what we got. motion so I'm, I'm trying to see who Lamar looking at to see who he's reading I can't I don't see anybody out there but Sneed's coming around for somebody so Sneed should pick up 55 he keeps it so I must 55 must be the read because Sneed just passed him up now this is horrible leverage right here Hollywood's inside Sneed's like he about to hit Hollywood this dude got his outside arm free, so now he can just chase Lamar. Which is what happens. This is... Come on, now. Come on. Can't pick a side. You can't pick a side. You got to block him head up. You don't know where the ball at. You got to stay head up and then adjust to him. You picked a side early, and now he going to have a chance to chase down the runner. Just need almost hit Hollywood. So, so now these two guys are essentially blocking nobody. And he can run and go get the quarterback. And he can run and go get the quarterback. Which is what happened. So imagine if we get a hat on these guys like we're supposed to. Imagine if Hollywood's right here. Sneed comes off of Hollywood and works his way up to the next guy. Now you got one on one with him. And him in the open field. Because he left, he dusted 55, I think. Yeah, he dusted 55. So he should have been blocked by Hollywood. He should have been blocked by Sneed. And then this was supposed to have been a free guy versus Lamar. Details, buddy. Details. Details. And this is the 12th and final first down of the half. Running the ISO play again. Great vision. Only got three yards, but great vision to see it. Great vision to see it. So now you get a, you got a double right here. You got a double right there. You got a recall and a fit right there. And I think they try they I think both of these guys converge. And he just jump cut that thing right there. Because this should be a double to that dude. It is a double to 58. 54 get caught in the wash. He just see it. Great vision. Then finish, finish his run. Finish his run. Excuse me. Finish his run. But again. Hold on. One second. Again. Um, 12 first down plays in the first half. Nine of them runs. That's 75%. So when you go to the second half, you think, well, maybe the same thing going to happen. So they had, in the second half, we had six, six runs and six passes on first down. But six of those, I'm sorry, not six. 
You had six runs and not and eight passes, but six of those passes were in a two minute drill that we went down in to tie the game up. So really, you're looking at six and two again in the second half. So that's uh, seventy five percent again. Outside, if you can't take off the two minute drill, so seventy five percent of our runs minus the two minute drill. I mean, first downs are runs. Play calling or what? But again, I ain't gonna keep you too long. This is Coach Evans from Sip the Tally Films. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we out.